Whether it's on their farm in Molala or right here in Camby, Grant and Brittany Robinson are part of a tight-knit family. And so we have our own little community, you know, outside of Malala, and it's kind of just a little paradise out there. That paradise quickly turned into a nightmare when smoke filled the skies as wildfires encroached on their properties. We had no idea there was even a fire in the area. It just came on so quick, and, you know, next thing we know, we've got a sheriff at our door telling us we've got to go, and we've got to go now. The couple left with their kids, and so did the rest of the family, who lives within a couple of miles from each other. They found refuge with friends at Camby Grove Christian Center. We got particularly hit by COVID really hard, uh, being a camp that's focused on groups and outdoor events. So for this fire, we just happened to be um, open and available. At level one, Angie and John were not worried about the fire reaching Camby Grove. When we got called into a two, I was like, oh, how much help are we to anybody? Because we may get evacuated as well. Yeah, and there was a lot of fear around here. The worry was short-lived. There were a lot of different emotions and things going on, but um, it is a relief to see it going on. Can be moved to a level two evacuation Thursday, then dropped back to level one Saturday. A sign the threat is easing in that community. Changing weather conditions prompted the decision and also helped save the Robinsons' home. We just started praying and, and praise the Lord. The wind, the wind stopped. It was on a, a direct path right towards our house. With no imminent threat, the Andersons are happy to shift their focus from worry to service. We're here for the community and for people that need help. Building a tight-knit family of friends, strangers, and anyone in need. Now, Brittany, as you mentioned, Camby is back to level one, and Angie and John say the Camby Grove Christian Center is open to anyone affected, impacted by the wildfires. We'll have more information on how you get, get in contact with them on our website at kgw.com. Brittany? Oh, Christelle, thanks so much for sharing that story. It's so amazing to see people open their hearts and their homes.